Welcome to the second course of the Real Estate Finance and Investment Program entitled Essential Financial Functions. I am Richard Pizer. I hold the Michael D. Spear Professorship in Real Estate Development at the Harvard Graduate School of Design. And I'm Kristen Hunter. I'm a doctoral candidate in Real Estate Finance and Urban Development at Harvard University's Graduate School of Design. This diagram shows the overall structure of the program. Here, you will learn the second course, which is the essential financial functions. If you are already an expert in the use of the six functions of a dollar, you may be able to skip this section of the program. However, this is the foundation of real estate finance. And if you don't understand the basics here, then everything else that one needs to know about real estate finance and investment is pointless. We'll cover sign conventions that govern monetary inputs into financial functions. We'll also look at the timelines on which interest is compounded or payments made. And we'll deal with four key financial functions that you'll use again and again when constructing your setup or discounted cash flow analysis in later segments of the program. Those key financial functions include future value, present value, how to compute a mortgage loan payment, and how to use the present value function in order to find the outstanding balance on a mortgage loan at any point in time. And with all of these financial functions, we'll compare the effects of changing the interest rates and the frequency at which interest is compounded on the values that result. So we hope you will take this class and use it as a basis for getting your hands dirty with the Excel exercises that will be in the next course.